Hand and Power Tools Safety The Occupational Safety and Health Administration states that most injuries on construction sites involve excavation cave-ins, power tool accidents, falls, electrical hazards, and exposure to potentially dangerous materials. Working with power tools, you can get an electric shock, lose a finger, lose an eye, or go deaf. It's especially dangerous to use a tool that's defective, that's been modified, or that's not designed for the job. Of course, you can also get injured if you use any tool carelessly. Regulations and Guidelines for Hand and Power Tools For General Industry 1910 Subpart P Hand and Portable Power Tools in Other Handheld Equipment 1910.241 Definitions 1910.242 Hand and Portable Power Tools and Equipment, General 1910.243 Guarding of Portable Power Tools 1910.244 Other Portable Tools and Equipment what the regulations say about hand tools. Each employer shall be responsible for the safe condition of tools and equipment used by employees. This includes tools and equipment which may be furnished by employees. Employers shall not issue or permit the use of unsafe hand tools. Wrenches, including adjustable, pipe, end, and socket wrenches shall not be used when jaws are sprung to the point that slippage occurs. Impact tools, such as drift pins, wedges, and chisels, shall be kept free of mushroomed heads. The wooden handles of tools shall be kept free of splinters or cracks and shall be kept tight in the tool. Hazards Workers using hand and power tools may be exposed to these hazards. Objects that fall, fly, are abrasive, or splash. Harmful dusts, fumes mists, vapors, and gases. Freight or damaged electrical cords, hazardous connections and improper grounding. Vibration and impact. What do you think are the most common injuries from working with hand and power tools? Electric shock. Flash burns. Falling. Hand and eye injuries. Hearing loss. Crushing, cut sore. Losing a body part. Ergonomic injuries. Basic tool safety rules. Maintain regularly. Inspect before use. Use the right tool for the job. Operate according to manufacturer's instructions. Use the right personal protective equipment, PPE. Use guarding. Hand tool hazards. Hazards are usually caused by misuse and improper maintenance. Do not use wrenches when jaws are sprung. Impact tools, chisels and wedges. When heads have mushroomed. Tools with loose, cracked or splintered handles. A screwdriver as a chiseled. Tools with taped handles, they may be hiding cracks. Cutting and slicing tools. Knives, box cutters, scissors, razor blades, etc. Safety gloves, protection against accidental cuts and vibration. A sharp blade is safer, when dull, a blade can slip from the object being cut and cause a serious injury. Cut downward, always away from your hand. Put it back, never leave a cutting tool lying on a table, chair, sink or desk. There are only three places that a cutting tool should ever be. 1. In use. 2. Stored safely in a drawer toolbox, in a knife rack, or 3, in the dishwasher, blade down, handle up. Never put knives in a sink full of soapy or dirty water. Someone could reach into the water and severely cut their hand. Cutting and slicing tools. Let it go. Dash and never attempt to catch a drop knife or other cutting tool, let it fall. Wipe away from the sharp edge, if you need to. Wipe or clean material off the blade, always wipe away from the sharp edge. Never touch the sharp edge, always use a piece of paper to test the sharpness of a knife.
Never use your fingers. Never use a knife as a substitute for other tools, such as a screwdriver or a bottle opener. Hands tools, protection. Keep floor surface where working free from debris and tripping or slipping hazards. Keep cutting tools sharp. Use tools as they were intended to be used. Use personal protective equipment, PPE, such as safety glasses and gloves. PPE determined by job hazard analysis, JHA. Examples of I face head feet hands and arms body and hearing. Does PPE help? A trash bag that held a turpentine container ruptured. Without warning, the can exploded and the mixture of paint thinner and paint sprayed all over Phil's face, head, and upper body. The force of the explosion knocked him to the ground. While applying siding with an air-powered staple gun, the sun fired a staple, hitting a metal plate behind the siding. It ricocheted back towards his face and one leg of the staple penetrated the safety glasses lens. The staple hit with such force that the frames were cracked and the sun received bruising on the eyebrow and cheekbone. PPE standards. Various OSHA standards list specific requirements for various types, levels of PPE. Logging standards. Electrical standards. Hazardous noise standards. Respiratory protection standards. Chemical specific standards. Power tools. Must be fitted with guards and safety switches. Extremely hazardous when used improperly. Different types, determined by their power source. Electric. Pneumatic. Liquid fuel. Hydraulic. Powder actuated. General safety guidelines for power tools. Be aware of all power lines and electrical circuits, water pipes, and other mechanical hazards in your work area, particularly those below the work surface, hidden from the operator's view, that may be contacted. Wear proper apparel. Do not wear loose clothing, dangling objects or jewelry. Long hair must be restrained. Gloves should not be worn when operating certain power tools. Check appropriate tool manuals. Spark resistant tools. Around flammable substances, sparks produced by iron and steel hand tools can be a dangerous ignition source. Where this hazard exists, spark resistant tools made from brass, plastic, aluminum, or wood will provide for safety. Non sparking, spark resistant, or spark proof. Tools are names given to tools made of metal such as brass, bronze, monel metal, copper nickel alloy, copper aluminum alloys, aluminum bronze, copper beryllium alloys, beryllium bronze, and titanium. Preferred non sparking metals have less tensile strength than steels usually used to make tools. A lower tensile strength means the metal has less strength or resistance to tearing apart when stretched under test conditions. It also means that these tools are softer, wear down more quickly than ordinary steel tools, and have to be dressed more frequently. Switches. Handheld power tools must be equipped with one of the following. Constant pressure switch. Shuts off power upon release. Examples. Circular saw, chain saw. Grinder, handheld power drill. On off switch. Examples routers, planers, laminate trimmers, shears, jigsaws, nibblers, scroll saws. Power tools, precautions. Disconnect tools when not in use, before servicing and cleaning, and when changing accessories. Keep people not involved with the work away from the work. Secure work with clamps or vice, freeing both hands to operate the tool. Don't hold the switch button while carrying a plugged in tool. Keep tools sharp and clean. Remove damaged electric tools and tag them, do not use power tools, precautions. Electric cords. Don't carry portable tools by the cord. Don't use electric cords to hoist or lower tools. Don't yank cord or hose to disconnect it.
Keep cords and hoses away from heat, oil, and sharp edges. Replace damaged cords immediately. Electric Power Tools To protect a worker from shock, these tools must Have a three-wire cord plugged into a grounded receptacle Be double insulated, or Be powered by a low-voltage isolation transformer Electric Tools, Good Practices Operate within design limits Use gloves and safety shoes Store in a dry place don't use in wet locations unless Approved for that, use GFCI Keep work areas well lit Abrasive wheels and tools May throw off flying fragments Equip with guards that Cover the spindle end, nut, and Flange projections Maintain proper alignment with The wheel Don't exceed the strength of the fastenings Inspecting abrasive wheels Before mounting Inspect closely for damage Perform sound or ring test To ensure free from cracks And defects To test Tap wheel gently with a light Non-metallic instrument If wheel sounds cracked or Dead, do not use it because It could fly apart Abrasive wheel use To prevent cracking Fit the wheel freely on the spindle. Tighten the spindle nut enough to Hold the wheel in place without Distorting the flange. Let the tool come up to speed. Prior to grinding or cutting. Don't stand in front of the wheel. As it comes up to full speed. Use eye and or face protection. Ensure the spindle speed doesn't exceed the maximum speed marked on the wheel. Abrasive wheel work rests. Keep work rests not more than one eighth inch from wheel surface. This prevents jamming the work between the wheel and the rest, which may cause the wheel to break. Don't adjust wheel while it's rotating. Guarding. Guard exposed moving parts of power tools. Guard belts, gears, shafts, pulleys, sprockets, spindles, flywheels, chains, or other moving parts. Never remove a guard when a tool is in use. Guarding, point of operation. The point of operation is where the work is actually performed on the materials, it must be guarded. This shows a radial arm saw equipped with proper point of operation guards. Guarding protection. Machine guards must protect the operator and others from. Point of operation. In running nip points. Rotating parts. Flying chips and sparks. Radial saw guarding. Radial arm saw equipped with an upper and lower blade guard. Guard to prevent the operator from coming in contact with the rotating blade. Guarding portable circular saws. Guard these saws above and below the base plate or shoe. The lower guard must cover the saw to the depth of the teeth. Table saw guarding. Use a hood for guarding. Avoid this. Pneumatic tools. Powered by compressed air. Includes nailers, staplers, chippers, drills and sanders. Main hazard, getting hit by a tool attachment or by a fastener the worker is using with the tool. Take the same precautions with an air hose that you take with electric cords. Pneumatic tools, fastening. Ensure tool is fastened securely to the air hose to prevent a disconnection. Use a short wire or positive locking device attaching the air hose to the tool. Pneumatic tool connections. Negation unacceptable. Negation acceptable. Pneumatic tool safety. Place a safety device on the muzzle to prevent the tool from ejecting fasteners, unless the muzzle is in contact with work surface. Install a safety clip or retainer to prevent attachments, such as chisels on a chipping hammer, from being ejected. Wear eye protection. Wear hearing. Protection with jackhammers. Compressed air cleaning. Don't use compressed air for cleaning. Outdoor yard tools. Read and heed owner's manual. Guards in place. Turn off to perform maintenance. Or free jams, debris. Wear PPE. Proper plug in or fueling procedures. Liquid fuel tools. Usually gas-powered. Main hazard, 
fuel vapors, carbon monoxide hazards. Use only approved flammable liquid containers. Before refilling a fuel powered tool tank, shut down the engine and allow it to cool. Refuel at least 10 feet from combustible materials. Powder actuated tools. User must be trained and licensed to operate. Test tool each day before loading to ensure the safety devices are working properly. Wear suitable ear, eye, and face protection. Select a powder level that will do the work without excessive force. Fatal fact. Employee killed when struck in head by a nail fired from a powder actuated tool. Tool operator was attempting to anchor a plywood form in preparation for pouring a concrete wall. Powder actuated tool safety tips. Don't use an explosive or flammable atmosphere. Inspect tool before use to ensure it is clean. That moving parts operate freely. The barrel is free from obstructions and has the proper shield, guard, and attachments. Don't load the tool unless using immediately. Don't leave a loaded tool unattended. Keep hands clear of the barrel end. Never point the tool at anyone. Store unloaded in a locked box. Jacks. To set up a jack, ensure the base is on a firm, level surface. It's centered. The jack head is placed against a level surface. You apply the lift force evenly. Lubricate and inspect jacks regularly. The manufacturer's rated capacity must be marked on all jacks and must not be exceeded. All jacks must have a stop indicator, for over travel, that is not exceeded. Jacks, blocking. Immediately block the load after it is lifted. Put a block under the base of the jack when the foundation is not firm, and place a block between the jack cap and load if the cap might slip. Photo, Hanty-Man jack is provided a firm base by using the railroad tie. The load is grouped to prevent it from falling. We are prevention pro we do training consulting auditing firefighting equipments and supply. Feel free to contact us at inquiry at preventionpro.in www.preventionpro.in Thank you.